Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So the Epic Avenger launch wasn't too good. The UK and Japan sales are out and they were horrible. Now the sales for US, New Zealand, Australia, Canada and all the other countries are not out yet. So the game probably sold like way more than it did here. But I want to highlight a few reasons why I think it isn't selling well and then highlight a few reasons why it will sell well in the future and why it's going to take longer to sell well. I made a video before quite a while ago now on why I thought it would sell. I was very wrong so we're going to take a look at why I think this will sell over time and not necessarily right now. My first reason is the Mucky PS5 launch. Spider-Man Miles Morales, one of the most anticipated games for the PS5, sold like shit. Nowhere near as well as the first one. There's a reason for this. Most people want to play this game on PS5 and are going to wait to play the games on PS5. Unfortunately, while a few PS5 will have been sold in about 5 million or something like that, no one can get their hands on a PS5. Most of these PS5s have been bought by like 20 people. I even bought three of them on Twitter, and then there's like people who buy 30 of them. So not even like 2 million people probably have PS5s which means there are not many people to play this game. There really aren't, and there's not enough of a player base, because most people are gonna skip the PS4 version. They wanna play the PS5 version, not upgrade, want their graphics. So they're going to skip PS4, unless they pre-order the course, and this will definitely ruin the sales in the short run. However, in the long run, the PS5 will obviously probably sell a ton of copies, and as it sells more, more LED fans, or just, or just kids, just like young kids are going to see this game, parents are going to buy it, and it will sell much better over a longer period of time. Unlike a lot of games like Spider-Man PS4, which sold quite quickly and then slowed down dramatically after the first month or so. Reason number two, it's being overshadowed. It came out on the same day the PS5 did. This is actually bad. It should have came out on Ratchet and Clank afterwards. The reason I say it is because it was heavily overshadowed by Spider-Man Miles Morales, Demon Souls, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Astro's Playroom, which Astro's Playroom makes Sackboy useless because it's a, another pretty platformer that in a lot of ways you could say is better than Sackboy, I wouldn't say it's better, but it's three and it's a pretty platform. If you have that and you weren't an LOP fan, why the fuck would you buy Sackboy Big Adventure? This is a problem because there are just so many other games that Sony hyped up so much more than Sackboy, it gets to this point where no one remembers it. Everyone's focusing on these bigger, 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 bigger titles and are ignoring Sackboy Boy Avengers. being heavily overshadowed by everything else that's coming out. The third reason is the lack of hype. The trailers did not get a whole lot of views, and there were, there were quite a few trailers, but most of them were like, shit, 30 second crap. And the game, simply, simply to put it, did not get hyped. Sony didn't hype the game up. If you're gonna release it with the rest of the other games, this game should be hyped up more as a return to Sackboy or Louis Planet and a return of the franchise because Demon Souls, Assassin's Creed, they're gonna sell well no matter how much you hype them. So I honestly think that they should be hyping up this game more. Um, but the next reason is the release date. It simply should have came out later. It should have came out Maybe at the end of 2021 or early 2021. Maybe you could release like a mobile game instead. Or I, I don't know. Maybe like Run Sick by Run 2. That'd be kind of fun. But um, it simply is, as I said, overshadowed. It should have came out later because more people have PS5s. Therefore, more people are going to buy the game. It should have came out by itself. And no, not next to any other games. At least two weeks separate from every other game. So people can play whatever came out, get hyped, finish it, come to this game, play, play it, get hyped. Finish it, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <clears throat> they simply should have been more focused on releasing this game later and fixing all the bugs. There are a lot of bugs in this game, so they should have spent their time fixing every last bug they could find, at least in my opinion. My last reason is that there's no re My last reason for why I think this game is not selling too well now, but will sell later, is because the game, simply to put it, isn't really worth getting straight away. It's quite a small game. There's no real draw to it. You know what I mean? It's a good game, but there's no reason to buy it now and not buy it later. Every other game had such a community behind it playing it, and you had all the reason by Miles Morales and Autica. I did. Um, 
all the other games. But this game simply does not have a reason to be played straight away. You could play it five years from now and you'd still get the same enjoyment. Um, and a lot of YouTubers still didn't play this game as well. I'm gonna have this as like a side thing. Not many big channels really played this game. The one that did only played it a bit. Um, let's plays are essential to a game selling because if let's say I make a let's play on Minecraft, okay, and you don't have Minecraft, you might think, oh, this game looks really fun, I'm gonna buy it. Now, if I added up all the views from walkthroughs, I'd probably be about a million, a few million, um, from the first episodes at least. So a lot of people are like watching this game, a lot of people are buying it because there's no community, there's no challenges, there's no real reason to buy it now and not just wait for it to get cheaper because it's still quite an expensive game. Anyway, those are my reasons behind why I think this game will sell better in the long run than the short run. Eventually, when I buy more PS5s, it will sell more. When it gets cheaper, people will buy it more. So over time, it will sell more, but right now it won't sell too well. I don't know, it might have sold really well. We don't know, we haven't got the full data yet. Uh, I wanted to stream, I was supposed to stream yesterday and the week before that. Uh, didn't get to, we're in, we're back in lockdown here. Like I said, my last video, we're back in COVID lockdowns. So I didn't get to stream. Well, I might not be able to for a while, actually, because of the lockdown. My parents are home, they're on my channel, so. I don't know if I'll be able to stream for a long time. So, next week, I might be able to stream week after, I don't know. So, that is kind of concerning. But that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.